Mr. President, I rise to express my support and appreciation for Acting Secretary of Labor Julie Su and all she is doing to uplift workers and businesses across our country. Acting Secretary Su has been leading the Department of Labor for nearly five months. She previously served as Deputy Secretary of Labor. In both positions, she has shown her ability to bring people together, labor and management, to resolve disputes. She did so to avert a freight railroad strike, and recently, as acting secretary, she helped avert a catastrophic strike at ports all across the West Coast. Had major ports across our country, the West Coast, come to a screeching halt, our country would have been subjected to massive supply chain disruptions, costing our economy billions of dollars. As Jean Saroka, the director of the Port of Los Angeles put it, Julie was, quote, a constant and reassuring voice of reason that helped to keep both sides at the bargaining table and focused on resolution, end quote. As she often does, Julie got the job done without fanfare or attention. She didn't ask for credit or recognition. She simply did the job. And that's what she's done throughout her career, whether while fighting for undocumented garment workers in California or helping the Biden-Harris administration create more than 13 million jobs. Julie Sue isn't a politician. She has dedicated her life to fighting for working people and leveling the playing field between labor and big business. She knows that the work of the Department of Labor isn't about her. It's about the millions of working people who keep our economy and our country moving forward. Now, Mr. President, when I first immigrated to this country, we just had one suitcase and our first home was a boarding house where we shared a single bed sleeping sideways. My mother's perseverance eventually enabled her to get a job at the Honolulu Advertiser, our local newspaper. And while the job was non-union when she was first hired, my mother and her coworkers ultimately came together to form a union. It was then that mom's pay increased, providing the stability that allowed our family to buy our very first home, and literally, we entered the middle class. Unions are critical at a time when economic disparity continues to grow. We are seeing a resurgence of labor organizing across our country, from Honolulu to Hollywood and far beyond actors, writers, teamsters, and so many others are organizing to demand fair pay, decent treatment, and basic dignity. At a time like this, we need a labor secretary who can bring labor and management together. Julie Su is that person. Julie has broad support from businesses and labor alike, garnering the endorsement of groups including the U.S. Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, Small Business Majority, the AFL-CIO, and dozens of labor unions across the country. Given her experience, her qualifications, and those endorsements, it's hard to understand my colleagues' objections to her nomination, especially by those who voted to confirm her as Deputy Secretary of Labor in 2021. Over the last few months, Julie has endured lies about her record, condescending questions about her qualifications, and an unprecedented campaign by special interests, some big businesses, to deny her nomination, they going so far as to put up anti-Julie Sue billboards in a number of states, all to persuade certain senators to not vote for her confirmation. In spite of 
This coordinated smear campaign, as far as I'm concerned, Julie has a strong commitment to public service and to doing the job President Biden asked her to do. She will persevere. Like millions of working people all across our country, I am grateful for Julie's perseverance and her leadership. I hope my colleagues will at some point soon acknowledge her record of accomplishments, her ability to do the job, and support her nomination. Julie not only deserves our support, she has earned it. In the meantime, I know that she will continue to do her job and our country will be better for it. Mr. President, I yield. <laughs>